for better days to come and carry us like wind in our sails. Hold on tight, I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. Dreamers of the I just spoke to the guy at the desk and went, well, where's the where's the bathroom? He went, oh, it's behind your bike. So this isn't a set of cupboards. There's an ensuite bathroom behind there. Oh, I love these bizarre places. So where am I today? I'm in Dungog, or in fact, I'm just leaving Dungog. I'm heading towards Stroud. There was supposed to be a series of back roads, trails, gravel roads that connect Dungog and Stroud together. And that's what I'm hoping to find today. So there'll be a bit on the main road, a little bit hopefully, and a lot off the main road going through the forests. Well, that's the main road part done. Um, I think there's a little bit at the end when I get to back onto the Stroud Gloucester Road, but the rest of the day should be roads like this and then into some, hopefully today, some forest trails. So what's the bike I've got with me today? It's my Giant Trance 2 2019. So it's nothing particularly fancy. It's a dual suspension bike, just purely because I own a dual suspension bike. It'd probably be better on a hardtail today. Um, I have put a new chain on the bike. Uh, the eagle eyed amongst you will see I've got new rotors and new brakes. So that's the SLX brakes. They don't come with SLX brakes. And I've got the uh, temperature releasing brake blocks in there and XT rotors. The back of the bike, I'm using the Tula pack and pedal uh, back rack with the Tula pack and pedal bags. Up top, I've changed the uh, saddle. I'm using one of my Brook saddles just because I don't want my bum to get sore. Uh, the normal saddle that it would have is just too narrow and too hard for the distance I'm gonna do. And then in the front, We've got my handlebar bag, and then I've got these Ergon grips just to give me a bit more variety in how I'm holding on. I've got no idea what the quality of the roads are gonna be like. I think according to Kamut, there's a bit of tarmac road like this. There's a bit of gravel road. This is today, and a bit of forest trail, but I suspect the majority of it's just going to be country roads, which will be nice and easy, I hope. Uh, a little bit of hill today, but not a lot. Tomorrow is where the hills are. They're all on e-bikes. As I stop to walk up the first of two hills, because I think I'm going to have to walk both of them today, um, I should point out, I'm in a puffer jacket. I've just taken off a scarf. It was about six degrees when I got up this morning. Obviously going up my first hill after a couple of hours. Uh, yeah, it's warming up pretty well for me. But yeah, it's beautiful around here. Really nice. 
Okay, that's the first of the two major hills to get over today completed. I amuse myself some days. I was just saying that um, that's the first of the uh, two hills I've got to get over today. It wasn't. That's just a, a blip and nothing. Um, I've got two proper hills to get over today. Um, I haven't even got close to them. They're much, much steeper, much harder to get over. The uh, Power Rangers on their e-bikes were saying, yeah, I'll probably be walking on those. Well, I definitely will, because I'll walk this one. So I'll be walking that one. Now we're on a steep bit for the day, 7%, which is not that bad, but being old and not very fit and a bike covered in bags, yeah, finding it a bit tough going. It says it's kicked up to 12%. I can't see that being the case right now, but up over there to my right is where the road goes. I think over there, that's 12%. Well, I'm almost at the top of this first proper hill. Um, it peaked at 14%. It says it's down to two, but I can see it's not. It's still going at about five, but I'm almost at the top. But yeah, my little fat body decided it needs a bit of a rest first. Um, then I go over the top. So this is an area I think called Flat Tops. Um, I'm on the corner of uh, Brewers Road and I think over there is Germans Road. They're both um, pretty well dead end roads, I think, down to farms and things. Um, top of the first major hill, I walked the last half a kilometre. Yeah, it's just too steep for me with bags on and everything. Um, but listen, it's epic. Just reached the bottom of that hill, which by the way was epic coming down. And then there's a sign that says that I'm now on a no through road. So uh, my map says to go this way. I guess we've got all day, let's go find out. Even if I've got to turn around and go back, I think I'm gonna enjoy going down here for a little while anyway. It's pretty nice. Rightio, well, I think I'm about halfway for the day, so I've just stopped to have a uh, rest, a uh, bit of a drink. Um, I think I've done about 20, 25 kilometers. Hard to tell, because um, there's no phone signal here. So there's no GPS, there's no ability to be able to tell that. But yeah, I think it's roughly somewhere around the 25 Ks, 20 Ks I've done. And I've got about 40 to do for the day. So I'm thinking about halfway, I've got one more a uh, decent sized hill to get over. Um, I've got two bottles of water left and some snacks. So uh, yeah, happy days, should be good. Mm, the bit that I feared most when you're going into a area that says no through road is I wonder if I've reached the end of the line. Uh, that looks like a farm to me. Um, well, there's a road over here with a cattle grid. I think we'll keep heading that way. Yeah, so that uh, no through road sign was correct. Um, I've just ended up in a farm. I've um, just spoken to the farmer, lovely chap, uh, runs beef cattle around here. And that road has been closed. The one that I was intended to go down has been closed for 40 years. Uh, still appears on Google Maps, but it's not correct. Um, he was also saying that uh, um, they're running or they're moving cattle up through that area today. So yeah, it can't be used. So I've got to go back down to the no through road sign and then up on, I think it's Black Camp Road and then around that way, which it shouldn't add much to my day. Beautiful part of the world to be backtracking on, I guess. So it's uh, 
it's no big deal. I think I've only got about 20 k's to go. Um, he says the road is washed out in places I'm about to go on, but motorbikes get through it, so mountain bikes should have no problem. So here I am, I'm now back to the original junction where I started heading off that way, said it was wrong. Started going down that way, said the sign said no through road and it was right. It was a no through road. So this is Black Camp Road, um, which is skirting around that uh, chap's property uh, that I spoke to earlier on, the farmer that's saying I couldn't get through on his road. 16.7 uh, kilometers up to the Stroud Road and then it's down there, from there down into Stroud itself, another four or five k's on the, on the highway, which I'm not looking forward to. But this bit, right here, right now, I'm glad I've had to make the detour, it's beautiful. So I don't know if you can see that, but uh, after about an hour of cycling, I've now basically got back to about 100 metres away from where I had to turn around on that farmer's property. Word of warning if you're coming down this road, some of these puddles, there's only little ones right here, but there are some bigger ones uh, in places. Some of them are pretty deep. Um, I just went through one and it would have been certainly over the brakes, uh, over the top of my shoes. So uh, you wanna make sure that if you are coming down here, you've got a bike that can cope with the wet and bags that can cope with the wet. So I'm three quarters of the way up the last hill for the day. Um, I believe the hard part is still to come though. 10 kilometers more of this off-road and then seven down the highway into Stroud. So yeah, we've done 30. I think I've still got 17. So my 40 kilometers is gonna probably be closer to 50 at the end of the day. That's mostly because of that detour going down the wrong way. But hey, look, look where I am. I know GoPros have a habit of making things look very flat. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see what's going on here, but I'm already on a steep section and ahead of me, just kind of about there, it just looks like it's going up a wall. Well, according to this, I'm halfway up the hill, um, according to my map. It's saying it's 11%, but I don't know, bits of this, are, they've got to be closer to 20. It's, it's just like a wall in places. It's really hard to even move, let alone push a bike. It, at one point I thought about taking the bags off the bike, walking them up and then bringing the bike up separately is that difficult. But again, you know, you've got to put up with some of this to be able to go to these epic places because it really is lovely out here. It's really nice. Well, that's taken me the best part of an hour to get up that hill. That was horrible. Um, mostly because halfway up I had a massive attack of the cramps in my left leg. Um, yeah, as, as I walk it would cramp, obviously as I stop it would cramp, so the only thing to do is suck down as much water as possible, which now means I'm running low on water. Um, but yeah, I've made it to the top. I think that's it for the day. There's a few little lumps and bumps, but um, very small in comparison to what we've just been over. So uh, it should be 16 kilometers now into Stroud of eight like this um, off-road and eight on-road. So I've got the GoPro back in the chest harness for this part, hopefully to demonstrate why motor vehicles are not recommended to come along this road. Oh, 
I've just walked up the equivalent of this. Yeah, the reason I stopped, I don't know if you can see it, there's a massive concrete block in there. And if I'd hit that full speed, I'd have come a gutser and probably broken a wheel. got uh, 10 k's to go now, uh, three kilometers um, on gravel road and then seven kilometers on highway. Um, but the gravel road is, yeah, it's back to being a, you know, quite a humane gravel road rather than that really rough stuff that I've been murdering myself on. Um, yeah, it's taken a lot more water than I expected. It's taken a lot more effort than I've expected. So I'm now starting to cramp in both legs and I need to get some water. Um, but as I say, I've got 10 k's to go. So the worst comes to the worst, I'll cycle into Stroud and deal with the problem there. So dead ahead of me right now is the Stroud Road or, um, yeah, I think it's Stroud Road, uh, which will take me around to Stroud itself where I'm staying for the night. Okay, so that's the end of the Dungog Stroud Road and now I'm going down onto the Buckets Way, which is going to be a bit of a prick of a road to cycle down. Uh, a lot of big traffic, very busy, a bit narrow. So historic Stroud and this is where I'm staying for the evening at the local pub. One of the things I've been suffering from over this trip is the uh, is keeping things charged. Uh, my actual charger uh, broke, and then I've got uh, one of those um, batteries, the uh, little batteries to keep things going. But that's very small, so it's running out of power too. So until I get down to Karua, I'm pretty much I've got a phone and a little bit of battery power, but I've got no GoPro, nothing else. So uh, yeah. Frustrating beyond belief, but what can you do? So I'm at the top of the, uh, hopefully the highest hill I got to do today, which I'm hoping is, you know, it's, it's pretty well done. Um, not that hard, mostly three, four, five percent most of the way. So yeah, I've been sweating a bit, but uh, that's all I'm not going to, I'm not going to end up in pain at the end of the day, so a much gentler day today. Uh, most of it's on bitumen, a lot of it's on gravel. Um, overall, a beautiful day so far. Yeah, I've stopped for a break. I'm about 10 k's out of Karua. And it's been relatively straightforward today because mostly on uh, tarmac road, there's a lot more tarmac than the actual map says. The map says that a whole bunch of this is gravel, but it's not. I'm now on a gravel road, but I think it's um, probably halfway between here and Karua. It turns back into into tarmac again. So uh, yeah, one more one more hill to get over, 
and that's it for the day and it's only like about 11 o'clock in the morning so I thought I'd stop have a good rest I've got plenty to drink I've got an extra liter compared to what I had yesterday um, I'm doing less kilometers today so yeah it's uh, it's a happy day so this is the end of the branch line or branch lane and um, so that right ahead is the main Pacific Highway going to Sydney Brisbane I'm about to go under it and into Karua but I still miss the way the way you used to feel maybe we rose so fast maybe we got too high Well, good morning. Um, yeah, it was a good night's sleep in Karua. Nice little hotel or motel. Um, yeah, nice and quiet. Slept well, feel good. Going down from Karua down to Newcastle today. Um, it should be roughly 50 kilometers. I think it's about 42 down to the ferry, uh, across the ferry and then a bit across town. After the last couple of days, I'm always a bit concerned when I see signs like this go through road or road closed ahead because um, it's closed at Swan, Old Swan Bay Bridge. Well I guess this could be part of the reason why we're seeing the road closed. There's a tree down across it but uh, um, that bit to the side there somewhere around there I can uh, I can fit under there quite easily. It's quite a big gap. It's about four or five foot high. And here we go, here's the reason why the bridge is out. Uh, very hard to show on video, but uh, the tarmac ends right there. And then there's a, yeah, there's a two or three foot drop. Uh, that'll be fine on the bike. I can just carry it down there. It is a bit butt puckering going across that bridge. Um, a bit rusty, a bit holy in places, but we'll make it no problem. Well, I'm at the top of the, I think it's Madawi State Forest. Um, over to my left is the Williamtown um, Saltash bombing range so uh, I'm kind of scooting around the side of it um, there is a path that says it goes through the middle of it but well, I don't know about you but I don't fancy going through the middle of a bomb range how else can you get to play in mud at my age got cold feet though So that's the end of Haynes Road and now I'm just going to go down what's called Daniel James Trail just for a little way and then start cutting through to civilization. And literally there was a gate and then I'm through onto this. I guess no one's to play, nobody crossed the line. I guess we couldn't see, somehow we couldn't feel Maybe we rose so fast, maybe we got too high But I 